Hi everybody, I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And, and we're, we're the Streeter. Welcome to the RDRV channel where we teach, share, and explain everything about glass. And this week we're going to be talking about cutting skills and pattern cutting and Ed's going to teach us the easy way to cut glass and put your pattern together. Right Ed? That's right Barb. We're <laughs> going to be learning how to use our glass square this and I want to thank everybody. We had a lot of good feedback on the razor blade pattern cutting tool that we uh, made last week during class. So wait till the end of the video. Ed's got another great tip for you that's going to help you out in all your stained glass projects. Woo, Barb, I'm ready to go to the studio. How about <laughs> ready? you? Ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go make some glass. Yeah, that's pretty. This color is called denim blue. This is called water glass. And as the glass is being rolled out, they actually pull it just a little bit, stretch it, and that creates, that makes the glass wave this way so that you get this this water glass or the awesome so most of your glasses are pretty uh, transparent it's just a tiny bit of red yeah. hi everybody welcome back to the stained glass studio and i'm ed and tonight is class number two of four on making stained glass easy so here we go we've traced our pattern from our cartoon by now, you should already have all of your pieces cut out. The tools we're gonna need today are our running pliers, our grousing pliers. Some of the glasses I'm using are very dark, so I'm getting out my paint pen so that I can see the lines that I need to cut. Always use your square to make sure that your glass is square so this is just a very pretty green glass. And it looks to me, it looks to me as if, um, as this, uh, if I have number 10 is marked for a, a nice pretty green, green glass. So the first thing we're gonna do with our square is we're gonna make sure that our glass edge is square. This is not, okay? And you're probably gonna run into that problem all the time when you go into the studio and you, you buy a small piece of glass out of the rack, a little eight by 10. One of those edges isn't gonna be square. So the best thing to do is with your thumb, hold the back of your square against the edge of the glass. Your index finger on the square and your middle finger behind the square to keep it from sliding. We're gonna press down with our cutter and pull back same sound, start to finish, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're gonna pull it off to the edge. Take our running pliers. We know that this edge, this corner is square, okay? This corner is square. So we can always work off of that corner. So we're gonna take our number 10. We're gonna put our pattern right on there. We'll just use a paint pen, it, it's, everything's right here. So, now if you can imagine, we've cut all these patterns out, and the inch and a half on our square, on our framing square that we use to draw the inch and a half lines in the pattern, are now, after using our trusty razor blade pattern cutter, instead of an inch and a half, they are now an inch and seven sixteenths. So they've taken the, these, the razor blade is taking a 30 second off of one side and a 30 second off of another. So what we wanna do, we wanna make sure that we get our glass squared away right on here just like this. We know our, this edge is square. We're gonna come right up to it. Pull, take our running pliers, line them up, and there's our glass. So right now, we're gonna do the same thing. We know that this is square already. We're gonna set it right there. 
Boom. And what do we do next? Fold our index fingers on both hands, put our thumbs on top, pull down and away. We can put our pattern because we can see underneath of it. We can put our pattern under the glass and let's make sure we get the right side. And this is the right side here. I love it. This is the shiny side. So we can just put our pattern right there, just like that. Now I can see through the glass. It doesn't save you a lot of time, but you can set your square right there. Put your glass cutter wheel right on the edge of that pattern. Pull down, score gently, the same sound, start to finish. Grab your running pliers. And we'll pop that off just like that. Same thing, index finger underneath, thumb on top. Index finger underneath, fold it so that your knuckle, the fat of your knuckle right there, is under that glass. This week, your homework is to finish cutting your window out, get everything ready, because next week, we're gonna learn how to use the grinder. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to take care of your grinder. We have another old timers tip coming up. We're not out of here yet. Hi everybody, welcome back to the gallery. We just uh, came out of the studio and it's so much fun picking out color and cutting glass. It is, it is. I also have a old timers tip of the week coming up. But first, we wanna thank everybody for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, give us a thumbs up or ring that bell and subscribe. So here's our old timers tip of the week, everybody. Most of you use a copper foil caddy that I showed you that comes in the toolkit that we have here at Conway Glass. Also, you, of course, you have your copper foil in it. So you, you, you can take a one gallon baggie or a big Ziploc baggie, take the copper foil caddy with the foil in it, just put it inside that baggie. Once you do that, that keeps your copper foil from oxidizing because humidity is your, your worst enemy. enemy. <laughs> Humidity's your enemy. Okay. Look at my hair. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in this week. Don't forget to like us or hate us. Just don't forget. See you next week. Thanks for watching RDRV. Bye.